I play a wood sprite or a wood nymph in Rasalka, and we're uh, a trio of, of wood sprites. We're, we're just silly and funny, and we're trying to, to tease the water gnome and make him come out of the water, and we say to him, well, if you want to give one of us a little kiss on the cheek, you may if you can catch us. And then if you think you're going to make us a wife, we're going to pull you by the ear and we're not going to let you marry us. I've done operas in Italian, French, German, English, Russian, and now Czech. Yes, and this name is long. Ah! Skrzybermi. Svitem, the only thing, the next word is tricky, but it's not. Svitem Strzybermi. You have to start slow. You have to pronounce it slowly, pronounce it in rhythm. Just keep working up into a, a faster speed. Then maybe you'll add the, the notes and the rhythms to it after that. Basically, it's... And of course, you'll need to work with somebody who speaks the language. That's always the goal. Because no matter what, even if you get the pronunciation correct and exactly on point, you, there's a, a lilt to every language. When you look at a song or when you look at an opera, you... And each one of us has an individual reaction to that poetry. And that's the emotion that you should put towards it, whatever moves you. Because if it moves you, it'll move the audience. And of course you want to make sure that it's correct with the, the progression of the story. But most of the time I find whatever really kind of hits you right in the middle of your heart, that's really um, the correct emotion to put towards the entire piece and just be as true with it as you can. Just be honest.